Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk. You know it. And I know, I know. It's been a while, people. People were like DMing me. They were like, Daniel, are you okay? What happened? Well, that's a good question. What happened? I also wondered, wondering that myself. Now, all jokes aside, because it's April Fool's Day. No, I'm not doing that. But anyway, um, I was supposed to take one day off. And then one day became two days. And then became four days. And became a full week of not walking. So don't really have an excuse besides that I was kind of waiting for a nice sunny day. And there it is. It's Saturday today. Normally I don't really record walks on Saturday, but today I was like, let's go. So where are we? We are on the island of Gepsholmen, just outside of the city center here. Um, and it's a beautiful day. Look here. We've got Slussen over there, Slussbrun, the beautiful ship. We've got Gamla Stan over there, and the Royal Palace, the government buildings. We've got it all here. One of Stockholm's best viewing points, I would say, here. Now we're gonna cross the little bridge here, Gerpsholmsbru, I think it's called. It's a very iconic place. And there on the other side you can see, um, what is it called? Oh. Strandwegen. And um, yeah, this bridge is known for those uh, crowns that you can see. If you Google Stockholm, you see these very, very often. Let's go and check them out. They're halfway here. To be honest, I thought there was more of these before. Feels like they removed some of them. Hmm, don't know what happened. Oh, there we got a very nice view on the church. You got all these sightseeing boats here, leaving here from the docks. Here we've got an even better view. Oh, clear blue sky today. That's what we want to see. Yeah, it wasn't very motivating and I was like, oh, it's almost April, uh, it's snowy, rainy, windy, everything except for what we want, which is nice spring weather. Anyways, these crowns are still here, check them out. You see a lot of Stockholm pictures on like Flickr and Pinterest and Google and all, always taking the views like this. So where are we going on this walk? As usual, not really sure. Maybe let's go on the Rottingatan. It's Saturday, there should be quite a lot of people. And just explore a bit. Chat gang, how is it going? It's been a while. Good to see you all again. Um, always appreciate the support on the channel. It feels really nice that even after 580 something of my silly walks, you guys are still here in the premiere supporting. So yeah, awesome. Capsulman is known uh, for, you know, it's perfect for a nice little walk. And it feels a bit like you're outside of the city, but it's just one little bridge away here from downtown Stockholm. And then it's perfect to walk, you know, as I said, it's the old town there and then you can walk to Strandwegen and you Gordon over there. You can even take a little ferry if you want. Um, I've done that once, it's quite nice. Oh, well, here it's a bit windy. So this is a, what's this again? This is the museum, I guess. What is this again? The National Museum. I've never been inside, to be really honest with you. Maybe I should, but. Yeah, there's a nice little relaxed feeling to this Saturday morning. Like most people 
get downtown, you know, after 12-ish. Then maybe go into town to have lunch and go shopping. I'm not sure if the stores today open 10 or 11. Um, yeah, not sure. In front of us we have the Grand Hotel, which is Stockholm's most expensive hotel, I believe. It's incredible. I think last time I passed here I I told you guys that I tried to book a room here once, but yeah, a bit of out of my budget, I would say. But you know, it could be a, like a nice romantic gesture to treat yourself and your partner for like a, a romantic night in some kind of suite. But yeah, it literally costs hundreds and hundreds of dollars a night. It's, I think it's like, I can't remember. I looked it up. The cheapest room was maybe like three, four hundred dollars a night. But if you want one of the good rooms, like some of the apartment style rooms, they're like, or like a thousand dollar or even more. Just the breakfast is like fifty dollars or whatever. Yeah. Must be good then. Oh, lovely sunny day. See a lot of people wearing sunglasses. It's quite fun. Do you see the Royal Palace over there and you have a slope? It's over there. I don't know if I'm pointing right, but anyway. There they had a snowboard competition once. That was really fun. I was walking over there. That was way before I had my walking channel. And suddenly I saw this guy jumping with his snowboard and a lot of people in the crowd. It was really fun. You got Kungstre Gordon in front of us there. But I don't think we should go there today. Um, we wait approximately two weeks to go there because then the cherry blossom is there. It's a bit too early still. And it's been quite cold, like it's sometimes even minus 10 degrees during the night. So yeah, spring is starting a bit slow this year. I mean, I kind of jinxed it, right? Like one week ago, I was at Oudem Plan and I was like, yeah, spring is here, it's beautiful weather. <laughs> Three minutes later, <laughs> snowstorm. Oh. It's funny, like every time I, I use words as snowstorm and things like this, or either in the title, the description, or even saying it in the video, there's always people pointing out saying, oh, that ain't a snowstorm, this is nothing. Well, you know, I, I sometimes just say that for, you know, to get people to the video as well. Like, you know, I'm trying to market my videos a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I know that's not a proper snowstorm. Motorboat sightseeing. Here, look how bright the sun is today. It's not super touristy season yet, but I've noticed there's quite a few of um, Germans in town already. And um, I hear some Spanish, some Italian here and there. So yeah, it's on its way. Well, if there's one place where there's a lot of tourists, it's around here. See people walking around with their maps and their cameras. I've never been one of those tourists. Are you one of those tourists that walks around with a map? Now, if I would, I would look on my phone, right? I would go Google Maps, not an actual physical map. Although, to be honest, they're quite handy, but I feel so touristy when I do that. So yeah, Kungsta Gordon here, let's pass it. Just go straight ahead.
very noisy here, all the birds and the... Wow, check this out! Look how massive those swans are! Oh, there's a lot of poo on here! <laughs> It's a lot of different birds, nicely peaceful together. It's even a few pigeons. Not a few, quite a lot actually. And then there's a few guys just chilling on the railing there. <laughs> Let's hope nobody poos on my head. I once, this is a very long time ago, I was playing football or soccer um, with my friends. I must have been about 14, 15 years old. And we were playing three versus three, right? On the little pitch. And one of my friends, he's really tall and he was a goalkeeper. And he was standing in front of the goal and then <laughs> a bird passed us and he shit a, a pigeon shit it all over him like on it he, he had a brand new like jacket that he bought in like a bright color and it was completely you know you heard like <laughs> completely full with poo in his hair on his face on his chest oh man I know we shouldn't be laughing, but we were laughing for like half an hour straight. Everyone was laughing except him, because he had to go home and tell his mom, like, <laughs> his new jacket it was uh, all like dirty, so yeah, that was funny. Oh, I should bring this up, because we still hang out, even today. Well, mostly on WhatsApp, because I live in a different country, but you know what I mean, like, we still keep in touch. It's nice to keep in touch with friends from the old days, right? It's a nice question to the chat gang. Do you have one of those WhatsApp groups or whatever groups, Facebook groups with people that you know from when you were younger and there's a lot of banter, right? A lot of joking around and you still keep in touch. Do you have one of those groups as well? Because I think those are really nice. Talking about the old days and, you know, you don't even actually have to meet. It's just a little fun of uh, memories. And yeah, when you get the chance, you can meet as well, of course. I'm not against that, but it's just fun, I think. Look at the current. <coughs> so, how shall I walk here? I know what I can do. I can walk straight ahead here and then take a right onto Queen Street. A.K.A. Drottninggatan, as we call it in Swedish. Well, that looks like a group of tourists, doesn't it? Over there. This is uh, Gusto, Gustav Adolf Toy. Toy means square in Sweden. Swedish. This is called Norrbro. One of the many bridges connecting the old town with Norrmalm. We got one here, then one over there, then one at the back with the blue bus over there. And then of course on the other side you got a few um, connecting it to... Um, yeah, I mean I would say Gamla Storm, but I think it's called Stadsholmen officially. Because even these small islands, right? We call it the old town, this whole area, but they're all like connected with small bridges and they you know, have different names, but people just say, oh, it's the old town. It's easier. Because people get all confused if you go like, oh, let's go to Stadsholmen. People are like, where? <laughs> or Heng, Heng, ne? what's it called? Eh? Um, Helge, ne? <sighs> I don't know, whatever. It's just the old town. It's all good. 
you see still some remains snow as I said it's still really cold during the night like last night as well was like minus 10 degrees well you can see it in the clothes people wearing right it's like still beanies winter jacket uh, gloves I'm not wearing my mittens today but that's just because the Sun is shining and there's no wind so beautiful day the government building the Parliament There's also a never-ending story, the building of this corner here. Feels like they've been going on here for years. Oh, I don't think it just feels like that, it is like that. Alright, let's go into Drottninggatan, which is the main shopping street here in Stockholm. And this block is called Leonet. The Lion. So next week, uh, tomorrow I'll probably take one day off, it's Sunday tomorrow. But then uh, next week I'll try to upload every day again, Monday to Friday, 5 p.m. Um, so yeah, you know, getting back into it, that's always the hardest part, right? But then once you keep going, then it's fine. Pickwick Pub and Restaurant. I don't think I've been to that one. Maybe I have, not sure. Oh, every tourist is taking pictures here at the elk, the moose. That moose is probably one of the <laughs> most photographed things in the whole of Stockholm. You know, there's another few. Um, a bit further down in the old town quite surprised there's still a bit of snow here I guess the Sun because it's quite narrow the Sun doesn't reach Just here it's a bit less Ooh, we've got donuts here oh we see the city hall over there the back like the shops keep changing right here on Drottninggatan which is not that strange um, because you know it's a very high rent area so you need to come up with a good business idea to survive here right because there's almost no place that has a higher rent than this one well maybe ask them all, I'm not sure nah. I don't know but you know what I mean you have to sell a lot of things or offer, offer a good service to actually survive on a place like this and oh, <laughs> serving coffee is always a good business idea espresso house has like three <laughs> just on this street right so I don't know what they're doing but they're doing something right that's for sure But there's a few shops that have been here for ages. For example, this one, the music store. There's not many music store uh, stores left, you know, with the downfall of the CDs and the DVDs when everything turned digital, right? Well, we got Spotify and all those kind of services. The record sales dropped. But then there was a little time where people start to buy vinyl again, you know, LPs. Um, so yeah, a bit of a retro feeling. And of course, there's still DJs spinning records and things like this. So it's not completely dead, but you know, it's, it's tricky. Oh, this is to give blood. Blood central. It's a very good cause, you know, giving blood. says the person that doesn't actually do it but maybe I should I think it's a bit scary um, I'm need a, not a big fan of you know <laughs> having a needle in my arm but yeah which is good because that means I'm not a heroin addict 
Well, I probably wouldn't have this channel if I would be. Yeah, that's a line nobody should ever cross. I see sometimes people in the city, you know, on heroin. No, 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 no. Don't go there, people. Horrible. You know, I have nothing against a bit of partying and when you're young, you're allowed to do, you know, <laughs> some stupid things, if you know what I mean. But um, no, not that one. Don't do that. All right, this turns into Daniel the Preacher. Stay up drugs, people. It's not worth it. Well, because it isn't, it's definitely not worth it. Ooh, now I felt a bit cold in the shadow here. Skuga, nice word of the day, skuga, shadow. So, now we have arrived in what you can call the center, 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 center of Stockholm. It doesn't get more central than this. We're above T Centralan. And we have here a place that has two names. It's Sergos Toy, but we also call it Plattan. Like people from Stockholm, they go to Plattan. We have some nice advertisements here. Lost Lake, what's that? Ma Nasuregi. I assume it's a movie. Somma Buken. Dramatiserat of. What's this? Otta Quadrat. Spelas i Husby. If you saw him. I like it. It's a very nice, bright advertisement. Röda Urm. Red Snake. Those are plays, actually. I thought first there were movies. Nice. I don't think the fountain is on yet. Over there. So the question is, where am I going now? No, let's go back up the stairs, actually. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, as I said, it doesn't get more central Stockholm than this. But the big H&M advertisement. Spring, summer 2023 collection. Well, it still has to get a bit warmer for that, people. Because I'm still freezing. Once the sun doesn't shine on your face, you realize that's still around zero degrees at the moment. So, yeah. You know, this, this staircase is here is a popular spot for, um, you know, yes. It's like, it's, it's like, um, <laughs> are you a YouTuber? It was funny. So exactly, it, it's proven my point. This is a place where a lot of young people hang out and, you know, show their fashion and just trying to be cool, as young people do. So this is Klara Bays Gatan. And here you got all the trams going to you, Gordon, and stuff that way. As the moms to the plan on that side. You know, there you can go to Kungsholmen. And you got the city. Okay, let's cross here. Sorry, it's a red line. No, it's green. Here we've got Olean City and the big clock that everyone knows. Oh, here it's really sunny. Nice. So let's end up the video around her toilet. The hay market, I think that's a good idea. It's not super, super busy yet, but um, it will be soon. As I said, it's mostly after 12 ish, it gets really busy.
sometimes actually gets too busy on this tree so busy you can hardly walk especially on the weekends just after all everyone got their paycheck right so in Sweden traditionally you get your money on the 25th if you work for like a normal company and um, yeah so the Saturday after the 25th when everyone got their money they go shopping they go to restaurants they go out they start spending their money right and then throughout the month you can see it gets a bit less and less um, yeah human behavior right if you have it you spend it you see this very clearly in pubs as well drinking first Saturday after paycheck is like double as busy as when you go to last let's say on the 21st or something <laughs> because people are out of money especially in these times with um, you know groceries and stuff so expensive so yeah tough times for a lot of people oh, for everyone really for me as well Luckily enough, I'm not a big spender. You know, it's hard when you have a certain standard of living, right? Yeah, like some people have like two cars, they used to buy, you know, expensive clothes. Then you have a certain standard. And then when times get tough, you have to sometimes lower your standards, um, which is very difficult. But for me, I've, I've always been very... Um, I try to live a very minimalistic life so yeah for me I don't have to change much because I've never been a big spender that's kind of how I was raised also by my parents so yeah I think in general that's a little bit of a Dutch thing as well so yeah you know we Dutch people were known for being cheap I kind of <laughs> it's a bit true it's a bit true I guess so we arrived at the hay market. Hurtoyet. Perfect place to round up today's video. And I've got a pee. So that's also what I'm gonna do. And I know where in the food court over there. And I go for a wee. Alright folks. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this nice little sunny walk from Stockholm. I see you all on Monday for a new adventure. Have a good one. Thumbs up. Bye-bye.